All right, guess who's back? Locker Nuts is back in this unit right here. This is a dollar unit, 10 by 25. Found great stuff so far. Disney collection, vintage shirts, bunch of other stuff. But guess who else is back? The big trailer. That's right, we got it back. It got repaired. If you guys saw the short video I put out, this corner right here got completely crushed up. When the gate closed on me, leaving a storage facility, there must have been some malfunction with the sensor that's supposed to stop the gate from closing on you when you're leaving. All right, so I'm so happy to get that trailer back. And actually at the end, I'm gonna show you guys uh, me picking that up because it was, uh, it was just exciting. So if you saw here, I mean, this was a big stack of stuff. I had stuff everywhere that I went through and was trying to keep it in here. I put it all in the, ooh, that sounds good. I put it all in the trailer. As you can see, it is not empty. Far from empty, actually it's more than half full. First I put in there the uh, leftovers from Gianna's parents' garage sale on Saturday. Then I put in there the uh, one of the lockers that I cleaned out recently. And then I put in the stuff from here. Oh, this is good right here. Look at this, guys. That's beautiful. This is a glass paperweight and uh, it looks like it's in very nice condition. I don't see any cracks or chips. Maybe there's a little, little little ding right there maybe perhaps hard to say we'll get it cleaned up and we'll be able to tell down here i've got a box already started from the last time we we're here with the good stuff that's definitely a good good stuff box item mizuno mitt here it looks like for a little kid it's small old cup oh this right here look at this is it a cr cr crystal or quartz or something oh this too yes yeah liking that wait what's that look at this NES Advantage, one of those old joysticks. That's cool. Oh, connecting your NES control deck to your TV. Oh, that's what that is to you? Okay. What's this? Citizens Band Radio Service. Okay. We got some vintage stuff in here, guys. Wow, what a surprise. I'm starting with these boxes because, well, to tell you the truth, this and the one up top you can't see right now, but it's marked Legos. Those are the, those are the two that I want to get to the most in this entire locker. Because down here, this one right here, if you can see that, it says coins. It looks like it says coins. There's another label there, so I don't know what's what's what. But Jana spotted that coins. That made me very very interested. Oh my goodness! Look at this thing, Revenger Death Ray front machine gun and a grenade launcher. I used to have something like this in one of my cars when I was a teenager. Goofy, silly, but fun. Let's see if we got any red lines here. That'd be nice. This is a 1979, I think. Hot Wheels, it's still old. Look at this, that's old. Lesney. Matchbox, 1976 right here. This is fantastic. This is an old pencil sharpener right here, station wagon. Uh, what do you call it? I forget what you call it, but it looks like Knight Rider almost. Five winders, it says. Oh, do you wind it up? Oh, it's got like a little gearbox on there. How cool. Hmm. Okay. That's vintage. Ziggy. Can't see the date. That's Ziggy. An old comic uh, cartoon character. There's another Ziggy. A couple brass Ziggies. I wonder if these are worth anything. Probably not. It does have a thing on there. 1992. Okay. There's Minnie Mouse etched on a piece of glass. It's chipped on the top. I'll let that go. There's a little piece of crystal there. And then what's this? Oh, that's some old Monopoly pieces. A couple old marbles in there. The old Monopoly pieces are kind of cool. Little Garfield. Oh, and a Pac-Man. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it doesn't work though. Nope, doesn't work anymore. Boo, that's cool though. Okay, next box. Okay, plastic model. Uh, a little bit of paints. Oh, okay, looks like model stuff and drafting tools. Look at this guys, 56 bucks. Descriptive Geometry, 8th edition. Uh, that's from Spartan Books, which is San Jose State. And I know that because I went there for a semester when I was right out of high school. Mm, trying to find the year, I don't see it. Whatever. I think it's older. Engineering graphics. Yeah, it looks like someone studied to be an engineer. Next box. Oh, this one's heavy. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. Books, boo, boo for books. Ooh, a bunch of cliff notes. Oh man, I don't want books. I don't want books, this is boring right here. All right, we'll bring it to Stockton. Let it go. Next. Let's just grab and pull it through. The bottom one's a little heavy. 
Top one's light. Ah, kind of the lids just busted off too. Hmm. These sell for a little bit of money right here. A little bit. Sometimes. Still got the power cord. This even got the earphones to go with it too. How funny. I'm liking that this stuff feels like it was held onto for a long time. And some old, new old stock right here. I'll just bring this to the Dianza flea market. We're going to be sorting a lot today, guys, just to let you know. That's what we do on this channel. We sort, and then we sort some more. And then we sort some more. Okay. This is it. Coins. What do you guys think? Coins or no coins? It, it is a little heavy. Okay. <laughs> the mystery continues. 50 state quarters right here. Okay, it's not... Oh, oh. oh guys, this is good. This is actually good. I don't know why I'm just like basically kind of expecting to be disappointed and I am not. There's a quarter book with some of the quarters filled out. So less than half. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's seven, no, 15, what's that? $4.25, no, $3.75. Okay, but this is way, 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 way more interesting right here. 50 states commemorative quarters, 2007. All right, this is really interesting. I just, I really wasn't expecting there to be quarters in here, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, coins. I just thought it'd be an old box marked coins, but <laughs> there's coins. Oh, this is really good. Look at this. I've never found sets like this. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so fun to sell in our auctions. I love finding stuff like this. Real deal coin collection right here. 2007, 2005, and 2006. Nice. Okay, what do we got in here? Military mint coin set. Gosh, I'm liking that. I am liking that. Look at that army. Be all you can be. It's like a challenge coin almost. Sweet. Okay, next box. Oh my goodness, guys. This is fantastic. Gianna and I sell these in our live auctions. It's just like one of these. We come If we find one of these, I'm kind of excited to offer it up for sale. Look at this. I've got a whole box full of these. It looks like there's 15 or 16 of them in here. Oh, heck yes. Look at that. Quarter sets, 1999. Mm-hmm. COA, 1999 Denver Mint Quarters. Hot dang. That is so good. In my head, I'm hearing the cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> There's another one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve in this one. Looks like they pulled some out. Some paperwork here. This right here says return address cable shopping network. So it looks like they may have bought these, uh, you know, through the TV. There's two, four, six, eight more here. All right there's 2006. Oh, what's this? 20 bucks new, whatever it is. Okay, what is this? This silver, please be silver. Established 1867, Alaska, the last frontier. I think it's just a commemorative coin, not not precious metal, not silver. It doesn't say anything, so I don't think it's silver, but I don't know. Oh, here's oh, here's a couple more. Yep, Alaska, same thing. It's another one, Alaska. They're actually not the same. They're a little different, but a little different. That one's got the top of a totem pole. What a fun box this is. Yeah, that quarter just jumped right out. And they got like a couple other oh, socket jewelry right there. There's a dollar. Here's another one. Just a couple coins in there. Hmm. Oh my goodness. This wait. They didn't even open this box. Wait, there's no label on it though. It's very confusing to me. But it's never been opened. It's still glued shut. <coughs> this is fun. Uh, I can't believe we just paid a dollar on it too. Just a dollar. Is it, and if you guys are asking yourselves, how do you guys get this one for a dollar? I mean, there's so much stuff in here. This isn't a junk unit. You know, like the last dollar locker I got. This one, um, same thing. Only one other bidder at this auction on this day. And uh, he's had a back issue he said his back was hit hurting him and he wasn't going to be buying the big locker so he was not bidding against us and uh he was only going for small ones and he actually got a couple small ones that day so uh try not to wreck the box but it's never been open and it's glued shut so looks like we're yanking it open this has got a little weight i'm kind of excited oh Oh, there's only two, but state quarters rolled ten dollars each. That's twenty bucks right here, guys. Minimum, not including any collectible numis num numismatic value. Is that how you say it? Numismatic. Hmm. Great, great, great. Any more paperwork. Okay, another quarter book. 
but the quarters are no está aquí. Not here. This one's empty also. Okay, this this is good. This looks like the other one, there, and this is heavy. Like way heavier. Oh yeah. Look at this, you guys. 31 state quarter set. Delaware, California, or Delaware to California, or Delaware and California. I don't know. Look at all these. These are all Delaware, California. Huh. Sweet. That's good, right? That's like what? Hmm. Oh man, that's gotta be. It says ten dollar quarters, but I don't think it is. I think it's five and quarters, maybe. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. At least forty bucks and quarters right here. That's sixty bucks and quarters between these two boxes, not including this stuff and all of this. This is a really nice little box, guys. I'm super happy right now. Okay, that was fun. It's kind of funny. Right as I'm finishing up that box, Jana texts me, "Did you find anything good?" <laughs> Well, funny you ask. Funny thing you ask. There's some toys. That is a Winnie the Pooh. It looks like a beach blanket, maybe with a, or you know what I mean? Not a beach blanket, a, be a beach towel with a little hoodie built into it. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Baby stuff. That's funny. Elmo hat. Oh, what's this? Digital concrete, huh? Flight deck. Poo. Oh my goodness, we found poo in this thing. We love poo. Just kidding. You know that sounds funny, right? Oh, Great America. Flight deck. Okay, Great America is that amusement park. Found quite a bit of stuff from them already. This one, am I impressed with that? It's a flex fit. I don't know. I like the poo hat the best, but we'll put them aside. Oh, look at this. Brand new little uh, Winnie the Pooh Disney backpack. Brand new thing right there for a little kid. Yikes, this is some nice stuff. Winnie the Pooh again. What's that for? What's that for? Huh. Oh, that's another nice backpack right here. A little embroidered uh, Winnie the Pooh patch there. Yeah, that's kind of cool, right? And another Pooh backpack, brand new also. Okay, what's this? Yep, it's Winnie the Pooh sheets right here. Wow, they got... This, this is definitely a Winnie the Pooh box. Winnie the Pooh fashion blanket is what it says, fashion blanket. And... Well, The fashion blanket actually looks brand new right there. Kind of feel like, I, I mean, really all this stuff probably should go to the better market, but it's just so bulky. I just don't know if it's worth it, so I'm going to let it go to Stockton. Stockton, you're welcome. So I named this locker the Land of Diapers because when we open the door, you just see um, right here just like a mountain of diaper boxes like this Huggies right here. Up here we're seeing Samuel Adams but most of them were Huggies and inside was all like kid clothes. There were so many. There's a decorative border there with Winnie the Pooh. Brand new stuff. More brand new. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Very nice uh, little baby blankets right here with Winnie the Pooh. Hmm. And it looks like we've got quite a few. And that rhymed. Yes it did. I, I never knew. Oh man, guys, there's so many of them. These are really nice. I just don't think we're gonna get much in Stockton form, but oh wow, this is a much bigger blanket right here. Big old Winnie the Pooh blanket. It's very soft too. It smells all right. It doesn't smell bad. Hmm. All right, this this uh, shelf right here, I put the, that stuff there because I'm going to reuse that. Uh, so I want to pack it last on the trailer. I need it for the market. But this had boxes, and this is where we found some vintage clothes, some vintage t-shirts, like really good stuff. And we also found some Nintendo DS, but only the boxes, not the actual games. We haven't found the games yet. So I'm kind of liking this shelf. Already it's producing some good stuff. Let's see about this. More Disney. Um, Winnie the Pooh baby stuff right here. There's a little carousel. Oh, how cute is that? That's really neat. Oh, man. Nick and Nora. $15 on sale right here. Looks like it's uh, sleepwear and home. Cloud 9 One extra long twin sheet set. Brand new. Right, this just looks like more baby stuff, crib stuff. Not, not super impressed with that. But I do see some more embroidered stuff down here. Hmm. Thomas the Train or something. Yeah, that's more crib stuff right here. I'll just let this go to the market. This right here, I'm kind of, kind of tempted to take it to Dianza. Just because it's new. Just because I want to give it one shot to get a little bit more money. Meh. I'll just bring it to Stockton. Okay. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Or I should say, potentially good, 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 good. There's some shirts. Okay. Nothing there. 
We want graphic tees, right, guys? We want t-shirts with graphics and preferably old stuff. That's a turtleneck. That's not gonna sell, I don't think. Although, they do look like they're almost brand new, so maybe they will. We like the vintage stuff. We like the graphic tees. Oh, there's Carhartt, though. That's good. Okay, what's this? Levi Strauss, signature shirt right here. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna put that one aside. Oh yes, look at this. Nike, it's a double stitch, it's not a single stitch, it's not that old. It's not an old logo either, I mean a tag, but I'll still put that aside. It's getting a little better guys, we're warming up. The perfect getaway, Alcatraz, a triathlon training camp. Dig, dash, and dive, that's pretty funny. The, it's got some stains around the neck there though, but um, I'll put it aside, still a fun little graphic shirt. California Truck Driving Championship. I don't think that's collectible. Senior Frogs, been there. And that's the Senior Frogs tag. Cozumel, Mexico. Yeah, put it aside. World famous Senior Frogs. Far From Sober. That's funny because I found a, a, a shirt that was playing off that Farfig Nugan, but there's a stain right there. 1995 though. That's a, that's a vintage shirt, 29 years old. Definitely going to the better market with that. Next box, kids books, yeah, all right. straight to the market. Oops, that handle, the handles are kind of funky. But these are Build-A-Bear boxes. Most everyone knows that, I'm just, I don't know, maybe someone doesn't know that. I don't think there's any value in that, but I did already find, I think, one Build-A-Bear. Hopefully we find a lot more. Okay, there's some tarps, I'm kind of happy about that. Yeah, there's either a very large tarp or many tarps in there. And that's good. I, I, I definitely will use that. With all the rain lately, we've been using tarps like crazy. And uh, when I put them on the ground at the market, uh, come on, baby bottles. They wind up getting very muddy. So I've chucked a couple lately. And, uh, or, you know, left them at the market, whatever. So I'm happy to find some more. I always do. There's always more, more tarps. It's like, it's like all baby clothes and stuff. Oh, look at this, guys. I called this one the land of the diapers, and look at that. <laughs> Appropriately titled. It's funny because they had all those diaper boxes, but then here's a humongous case of them. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that'll definitely sell at the market, I say. That's a good piece. <laughs> Ooh, dusty. I'd say this is a good piece to have, though. All right, good. Okay, next box. Toys. Toys. Rescue, Hot Wheels. Just pulled out a few uh, die casts there. See something better down here though. Oh, train whistle. <laughs> Wally. Okay, what's this? Flash Pad Infinite. Ah, uh, I don't know what that is. Hmm. It's got numbers right here. What's a Flash Pad Infinite? I thought it might be something to do with like. I don't know, Disney Infinity, those little characters that came. And more die casts here. All right, I'm trying to figure out what we got here. It looks like a whole bunch of hair, bows, and ribbons and stuff. I know these can be kind of expensive. Can be, not always, right? Can be. Boy, there's a lot of them. Look at this with the Disney princesses. That might be worth a few bucks right here. It does not look cheap. It doesn't look cheap. What do I do with this, guys? I think I might have to bring it home let my wife sort it out. Okay, I'm I'm not showing every box on camera because there's a lot of kid clothes and stuff, but this one looks interesting. Purses and bags. First up, though, got what looks like to be a denim. Some denim. Dickies. All right, that's, that's not bad. Dickies. Very well worn. Levi's right here. 550s. Levi's 550. Faded Glory. And uh, Faded Glory. Okay. Oh, guys, this is a Louis. Oh, my goodness. No way. Okay, I don't think this is a real Louis Vuitton dust bag right here. You see how it's tearing? It just feels very light and cheap. But it's crazy how many Louis Vuittons I'm finding lately. Okay, I just had to send that to Jana. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, uh -uh. I don't think that's real. I'm always holding on to hope, but uh, don't think that's real. Nah, it's not even a very good fake, but it's still kind of kind of cool. Mm, you know, would it make it still a nice little handbag to wear? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. 
but not not from you know my wife she wouldn't wear a uh, she wouldn't use a fake one but i think like you know bring it to the market someone might like it oh now she's calling <laughs> she's freaking out okay next bag a little disney bag see some princesses on here um looks kind of well worn though no brand in it that i can see no but it's still cool no significant value you know Ooh, that's nice embroidered uh no brand on here that i can see oh wait there's disney okay it's a disney store this is authentic disney bag right here that's worth probably more than the other two all right another one yeah 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 that matches a little whatever makeup bag or whatever that's cool this is a good bag right i mean good box right here i'm getting excited now guys i'm getting excited i like finding good stuff this one is uh no brand in there okay little mickey tote bag there oh this is nice right here lady and the tramp still with tags huh, they tore it off so i don't know what the wait what is that hobo is that the style or is that the maker hmm that's a nice little bag very good here's another canvas uh tote bag right there mickey disney this feels a little bit nicer than the others a little dirty on the inside crazy horse liz claiborne company little canvas bag here Relic. I think Relic's a decent brand. We found Relic handbags before. And you can tell they're they're very nicely made. The quality. That's that's sweet. Oh, it's a little backpack too. My girls would love that. I think this backpack style's still in, but what do I know? There's another Disney bag. Mickey Mouse. Oh, here we go. There's the nicest bag of the lot. Right? Yeah. Dooney and Burke. Definitely authentic, guys. There ain't no there ain't no fool of me. Dooney and Burke right here. Heck yes, and the little coin purse too. Oh, what's, oh, I thought it was a coin. <laughs> it's a coin, that's a key ring. It's a key ring, false alarm, but this is a beautiful bag. Inside's pretty clean too, it just needs to be vacuumed. Oh yes, that is a nice piece. That's, that's, uh, that makes, that's better than all of these combined probably, probably. Sweet. Okay, got a big tall box here. Uh, okay. I was hoping for handbags. I peeked. I saw a little bag, but I think it's a diaper bag. Ooh, very stain. Oh man, this is nasty. Nasty. Okay. Oh, Disney throw pill, uh, throw blanket. That's a good. Put that aside. Okay. What else we got in here? Baby stuff. What's that? Organic cotton nursing cover. Huh. Oh, there. Forget it. All right. I'm gonna toss this bag because that's disgusting. Makes everything look bad. And it shouldn't because this stuff looks pretty good. Except for that doesn't look so good. <laughs> Jeez. We have snow, ma. What do we got here? Oh, little Kermit. Kermit Z Frog. Oh, he's got a lot of wear on him, but he's kind of cool. Why does he have so much fuzz on him? I don't know, but I sure do love Kermit the Frog stuff. Designed and manufactured by Macy's. Huh. That's neat. Neat, neat, neat. I like it. We'll bring Kermit to the better flea market. Give him a, a chance to be something better. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of gross. Stuff in there. It's a neat sack though. Munchkin disposable bags. All right. Some more baby stuff. Pillow. What's this? I don't know. Nursing stuff maybe? I don't know. Sierra Club backpack. Oh, that's cool. A little Tigger, Disney. Nice plush right there. Another little plush. Some kind of cover, probably for a car seat. There's another Mickey baby blanket here. A nice box. Look at this. It's another little hair clip like we found in the other box, but this one is, uh, uh, what is it, the witch? I forget what her name is. What's your name, guys? And this appears to be, ooh, what's that? Oh, man, some foreign writing there. This looks like, what, Snow White, maybe? Snow White uh, costume, I think. That's how it looks. There's another costume, maybe Frozen? Sam Gammy. Sam Gammy. Baby stuff here. That's just a... Oh, it's frozen, embroidered on, kind of cheaply, but a little, I don't know, just a laundry sack or something. And then uh, another little laundry sack with the Minnie Mouse sewed on. It's kind of cute, right? 
don't know what these are for. Maybe to put your clothes away. Another little matching sack right there. I have a feeling this stuff was purchased off like Etsy or something. Okay, this, look at this, brand new, never opened. They purchased it, mailed it, never opened it. Boutique with a B-O-W. Oh, we found this before too. We found this jewelry before. Oh, this has got Mickey ears on it. Look at that. How cool. Okay. And this one's, I feel the same thing in there. Uh, didn't we find that before in an unopened package? I think we did. There's another unopened package. Terrible packaging. Another one, boutique. Yep. Another one. Hmm. Look at this, guys. There's a lot more stuff in here. Oh, look at this, though. There's some Disney pins. Disney villains. Now, this is just, uh, this is not villains. We found surprisingly few uh, pins so far. I'm hoping to find like a big collection somewhere in here. This feels like more of the same jewelry. There's another one that's never been opened. It feels like the same thing. It feels like those beaded jewelry. So I'm not going to open it right now. Okay. Yep, it's another like high-end dress or costume right there. Very pretty, very uh, elaborate, really. Okay, look at that pirate fairy right there that's what it says pirate fairy another high-end bow here's a pin oh and look at the back came off right there the prince of propellers rip slinger i think it came off of there i'll put it back I'll put these bows in there probably lot those bows up in a huge lot okay there's a bunch of stuff in here oh now it looks like mostly trash unfortunately let me go through it and see if we can find any pins or anything better Okay guys, I'm smiling. I took that off the top here and I just peeked. Like I said, I'm not filming every box. Hold this stuff back and look what I see. I see pins. I see some pins in there. I was just saying, boy, I hope I find a big pin collection somewhere. And then boom, I don't know if that's a big one, but there's pins in there for sure. There's some personal paperwork, some Disney stuff. What's this? Just brochures. I find a lot of brochures. There's some stickers. A lot. Oh, jeez. Certificate of Authenticity. Disney Movie Club Limited Series Pins. Okay. Jeez. Now I'm going to have to pay a little bit of attention, but there's been a lot of, like, brochures and receipts and just, like, stuff from their trips. They must have gone there a tremendous amount. Okay. Oh, this is parts for a crib right here. Okay. Now, The Secret of Nim. Um, great. I, I remember that being a very good movie. A VHS. I don't think it's worth anything. Uh, something maybe the kids made them in school craft. Oh guys. Oh yes. This is uh this is good. This is good. Look at this. Okay, little pins there. Little pins, little pins. Let me see. Disneyland 2011. This is very nice. Kids around the world. Alright, this is whatever. Alright. This is what we want to see right here. Look at this 2012 Fantasia. Little Mickey. This is blue. Probably that's... They had pricing set up by the color probably. Yeah. Nice. Little rock band. This little patch. Build and grow Disney planes from Lowe's. Oh, this is fantastic right here. Disneyland. Look at all these like pirate themed characters right there. $30 in 2009. That's 15 years old. It's Thomas uh, stickers. I don't care as much about that right now. I'm really happy about these pins. San Francisco Giants tie in there with a the pin. Hmm. Tink, uh, I almost said Tinkerbell. Peter Pan, Captain Hook collector pin. No price on that. Oh, that is so cool. Darth Maul with the Mickey ears. <laughs> that's that's super super awesome. Some Hannah Montana keychains here. I wonder if those are collectible. I doubt it. Okay, there's a princess pirate flag, Mickey, princess, and another princess Sleeping Beauty. I think a little cheesy ring. Hey, that was a great little bag right there. And we're not even done. This is Sarah on it. Huh. Giga Pets electronic handheld Giga Pets. I don't know what that is. It says pet right there. Something. It's some kind of little electronic thing. Okay. 
Charlotte's Web, another little VHS, a couple coin bags here. Snack Happened by Itsy Ritzy. They seem a little bit nicer, I don't know. And then a collector's plate, Season's Greetings 2009. I don't think that's worth too much, but we'll put it aside for our auctions anyways. Toy Story, Valentine's with pencils. The diaper clutch, and some sort of a floaty right here. It looks like that's about it guys that was a good little box right here okay guys that's that does it i found one with some jeans and one with some attorney clothes not that exciting that's empty so we're through the rack and now we'll come over here this is kind of interesting look at this i mean it's, it's, it's huge it's, it's like a particle board cabinet that they built apparently and oh look at this it's got some kind of a pneumatic gauge hooked up to it right, before i get into that let's make some room over here for those racks oh look at this more diapers okay we'll bring that to the market but let me get these racks out the way okay let's see what's in here oh what the heck how funny that is a, a very large compressor he has it in this box and he's got moving blankets stapled to the side so um to i'm assuming for for noise because these things can get kind of loud bang 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 all right that's got to go to the market because that will sell that's a little bit of money this cabin is just so funny though all right get this cleared off and i'll load that for sure formosa cover store shelving cover with t zipper what Okay, this is with PVC off white here. Hmm, storage shelving cover. I don't know, that's, that's a little different. All right, we're just taking that to the market though. I don't, I don't even care that much about it. All right, we are getting through this thing. Uh, so back here behind it, I didn't point it out, but I saw it obviously. There's a bed, I think it's a queen size, and I think these are queen mattresses here. So, whew, that, that, that cabinet was pretty heavy. Uh, let me get these out. I'll load them in the trailer. And then let's start. I pulled three boxes out here. It was all diapers. And what I'm seeing in these looks like diapers, diapers, diapers. Uh, the good thing about diapers is it won't take me long to load them. And I don't need to go through all the camera, uh, all of them on camera. But it's hoping for something a little better. But there seems to be a fair amount of boxes left. So who knows what we're going to find. All right, guys. Made a ton of progress. And... We can see it back here very easy now. And most of these were diaper boxes, unfortunately. And guess what? It's not just kid diapers. There's adult diapers, too. I have a feeling those are kid diapers up there, but a lot of adult diapers, too. So I'm a little perplexed. I don't know if he had a diaper business or he's trying to make, like, the new improved diaper or something, but he had so many diapers. So back here, I thought there was more mattresses. One, two, three. This is a box spring. Two mattresses. Uh, but I'm, I thought maybe it was all the way to the wall when I peeked before. But it's not, but it looks like it might be more diapers there. I'd rather have diapers than mattresses. And then up there, see right there, there's that one that says Lego. I'm hoping it's a bunch of Legos. And if it is, that might mean that there's better stuff up here. Um, anything but, you know, more diapers and baby clothes. So, <laughs> good, uh, good haul for sure. Yeah, check this out, guys. It's pretty packed. I mean, I didn't go to the ceiling like I do many times because uh, the trailer place told me I was in overloading this. Also, you see, I didn't load it to the back. I, I gave a little bit, just put the shelf in there. We'll hopefully sell that tomorrow. But, um, yeah it's this is a this is a heavy load i'm gonna back up and try to put the mattresses on the back of the truck and bring those too i think that once i empty this trailer come back this is all gonna fit in there and still have room for more a lot of racks though a lot of racks i gotta figure that out and a lot of lumber still but overall like we're we're, we're getting very close to being done with this one more video one more day here and i think we will be done anyways get, guys thanks for watching oh two things in the, with the diapers, there was a little bit of clothes, and check this out. There's a uh, adult size overalls with Winnie the Pooh on it, and then right here some adult size overalls, uh, engineer locomotive engineer style with uh, by Dickies. So those are those are not for kids; those are adult size. And these guys, look out for these. The pickers grab these from us first thing in the morning every time. The overalls. There must be a hot market for overalls. This Winnie the Pooh, I think, is very cool. I'm almost positive we'll sell this uh, very early at the next. Deanza flea market. This is probably 
uh, I think a $50 piece and these I might ask 40. I'm not sure. I don't know. But you know what guys, that's great and all, but we don't look for stuff to sell in the in the flea markets really. I mean, if it is a flea market, I would prefer the Dianza stuff. It's a little bit nicer market. We bring nicer stuff. But Stockton is great for moving mass amounts of stuff and that's what that's going to be. Plus, not so many families at Dianza, more families at Stockton. So diapers, kid clothes, that'll do better at Stockton. But last time we were selling baby clothes so cheap, so cheap. So um, it's not big money, but at least it's going to people who are going to use it and need it. So uh, that's good, right? So, but what we really want to find, I think I mentioned it earlier, but in case I didn't, this box right here with the pins and all that stuff, that's going on whatnot. And that's where we're going to be selling the best stuff. And I'm excited about that stuff. The Disney stuff sells great there. Today we didn't find that much stuff for whatnot, but we did find a little bit. That box was already started, so we now have a very full box for our whatnot auctions. We got a couple boxes for Dianza, but the whatnot auctions are where we're going to be selling the best stuff, like I said. And I do want to invite you guys over there. If you haven't tried it before, please come over, check us out on whatnot. We go live every Monday night, 4 p.m. Pacific. And the whatnot is uh, a live streaming auction auction on their custom app and that is for your phone your tablet you can do it on your browser too but if you use it on the phone or tablet or other mobile device you can do really all the features that they intend to do with it such as free giveaways and we run free giveaways i'm sure we'll be giving away some of this stuff um, we did last night we gave away let's see beanie caps a couple little small toys sometimes we give away coins sometimes we give away gemstones we have very exciting stuff in the giveaways but really the exciting thing is finding the best stuff you know like the disney pins for sure some of the disney stuff plush die cast these maybe these uh bows and stuff if they're worth enough um electronics toys all kinds of stuff we sell new stuff we sell old stuff and everything starts at just a dollar well last night we sold the louis vuitton we started it at a hundred dollars but most items most items over 99 percent of the items sell for just one dollar last night we sold 150 lots sometimes that's one item sometimes it's a dozen items uh but we sold 150 lots if you can believe that that's a tremendous amount of merchandise and actually as soon as i wrap this up which is just in a few minutes i'm going home to finish packing but first what i want to do is show you guys the video of me picking up the trailer and uh yeah it's just such exciting time because i've been waiting for that for a while to get repaired it had to go to arizona to the manufacturer to get repaired but i picked it up in lodi and the guys that were great they took fantastic care of me but let me show you what i mean and uh then well tomorrow i'll be at the flea market maybe we'll film it maybe we won't but we'll be back here soon until then good luck god bless see you next time on lock nuts don't go anywhere let's cue trailer all right hooked up ready to go just got it repaired it looks beautiful it looks like new this panel can't even tell and uh, these guys took great care of me right here trailers plus in lodi california all right so i'm here with curtis trailers plus how you guys doing took great care of us yes sir um i mean we love our trailer and we love these guys because uh, they made it like new again yeah we and we appreciate you man it's a it's a long journey to get where we are but uh we yeah. made it together yeah i don't man and they've done it without you, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it. If you guys need a trailer, Trailers Plus, I showed the sign there, but uh, Lodi, California, but you guys are national. Oh, we're 80 stores nationwide. You know, the only factory owned dealer across the entire country. So uh -huh. wherever you are, Trailers Plus is with you. We love the trailer and I have a lot of experience with trailers and my friend Mike, uh, also a YouTuber, yeah, yeah, is going yeah. fire. he referred me to you guys. Nice. He loves his trailers. Nice. So it's great trailers. Excellent. All right, on our way back and uh, traffic. And boy, this does not look like uh, little traffic. This is bad traffic. See the smoke up there? Something bad is going on down there. Oh, wow. Looks like they put it out, but... Whoa. All right, that was a little excitement on the way home. I mean, not really. It's more of an inconvenience, but crazy enough, that's the second car fire I've seen on this trip. When I was headed out to get the trailer, I passed an RV. It was a nice RV, nice rig. They're pulling a, I think a Toyota SUV behind it. Nice. And uh, I passed it. And then I looked in my rear mirror after a little bit and I saw a whole bunch of smoke back there. And I'm like, what the heck? And then um, as I saw the source of it, it was coming out of the RV and it looked like it was coming from the inside of the RV. And it filled the whole freeway like the cars behind them slowed down because it would create a cloud of smoke and they finally turned off. I watched them turn off and it looked like, the, as far as I could tell, the inside of the RV must have been on fire. Maybe it's a kitchen fire or something. I don't know. But they pulled over and uh, I was like, oh, man, that's going to that's going to cause some damage because that was a beautiful and expensive rig. Crazy on the roads, guys. Crazy on the roads. <laughs> 